under sink tankless water heater here today that I'm going to show you. Uh, I've got the cover off so that we can see the internal workings of this unit. This will give you a pretty good overview of how a tankless water heater works, or at least an electric one. Uh, we've got it's very simple. You've got uh, threaded uh, inlet side. This is where your incoming source water comes. It's very easy to attach. Goes through this valve right here. This valve typically has a little knob on the outside of it that you can control uh, the actual temperature of the water going through the unit. And then it travels through this. This is called your heat exchanger. Heats that water in that very short period of time. And then you have your discharge side. This is your output side. This particular unit is a 110 unit, meaning it runs on 110 voltage. Very low voltage and uh, amperage is 3 kilo, I'm sorry, the amperage is 28 amps is what it pulls. So you'd need a 30 amp, a 30 amp breaker for this particular unit. Uh, it is rated at 3 kilowatts, which is 3,000 watts. Again, this unit is a very low output. You're going to get a 20 to 25 degree rise only. That means that your water temperature coming in, let's say, is 60. You're going to experience uh, between 80 and 85 coming out of the unit. Uh, so what would it be used for? Well, this is an under sink unit. This would be perfect for like a school um, or a public facility where you don't really want hot scalding water or the liability of it coming out of your sink. Um, some RVers will use this because they may only have a 30 amp breaker and 110 power. And, you know, who's going to argue that uh, an 85 degree shower is not better than a 60 degree shower? I, I would take that any day. But anyway, there's a lot of applications for this. Uh, this particular unit is made by a company um, by the name of Marais, and they are out of San Juan, Puerto Rico. And they've been making this heater and heaters like it since 1955. These people are high quality manufacturers, and I'll tell you something right now. I believe in their product, and they believe in it uh, to the point where they're going to give you a five year warranty on this heater and any of the heaters that they sell. Uh, great little heater. Now, it does have uh, a sister heater. Um, the Power Pack 220, which is a 220 volt heater. And of course, that heater is going to give you about a 45 degree output temperature rise. So 60 degrees, then you have 105 degrees. Now, that, that's not a whole house unit. That would be used for like one bathroom. Also, it wouldn't be very good in like Anchorage, Alaska in the dead of winter. So a lot of things you need to factor in with tankless water heaters. Um, these are two small electric heaters. Now, we do carry, and Mare, of course, makes units as big as 18,000 watts which is about a six gallon per minute with about a 55 to 60 degree rise. Totally different uh, setup on the inside, basic same premise, but different setup. So anyway, uh, subscribe down below uh, to our YouTube channel and uh, you can always get all the new and inf new information about tankless water heaters. And we encourage you to go down there and make comments, ask questions because we'll answer them. This is really important because we want to educate you on tankless water heaters. If you're considering buying one, it's best to know what you're buying and how to buy the proper heater for your application. So remember, five-year warranty with this Mare. I've got links down below as well. So if you want to check out more details on this particular heaters and others, then please do so. Uh, great heater, and I hope that helps you. This is the Mare Power Pack 110.